With the release of Ant Man: The Wasp: Quantum Mania, we now have three Ant Man films, making it a in a, in a trilogy. So let us let's go back to all three Ant Man films and rank them from worst to best. So in third place by a long shot is Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. Yeah, you definitely thought. Yeah, yeah, I'm not putting Ant Man: The Wasp that low. There are some people that have put it that low. And I don't really agree with this. I think Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania is by far one of the weaker and worst films in the, the MCU period. Now, I always love the some of the characters in the MCU. Like, Ant-Man is one of my favorite Avengers. So, I absolutely love him. It's just the way it's executed was pretty bad. I really enjoy the cast of this film. You get Paul Rudd, Jonathan Majors. You also, you also get Bill Murray as just like this small role. So, you also get... Like Michelle Pfeiffer. You get so many great celebrities in this. So I absolutely enjoyed the cast. Unfortunately, the movie as a whole was very disappointing. I assumed that this movie would be much better than Ant-Man the Wasp. But then Ant-Man would be better. I was wrong by far. Ant-Man and the Wasp's Quantumania just found a way to disappoint me so much. I was really bored uh, just having to watch the entire film, so it just gets so, so, it just drags so badly, so, I am lucky I didn't go and see it in theaters, it is a, I think it bombed at the box office pretty hard, it like had a really big bomb at the box office, and I almost saw it in theaters, I, I was going to buy a ticket, then I forgot about it, and luckily I didn't give that movie money, it didn't deserve it at all, so in second place, we got Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ant-Man the Wasp is a... Let's just say there's a big leap in quality from Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania to Ant-Man the Wasp. I absolutely love this one. This one has probably the best cast of any of the Ant-Man films. And you're just crawling with, like, so many celebrities. And you just love this movie. It's good to have Wasp as, as this... Like, this time she's, like, one of the central characters. Meanwhile, in the first movie, she wasn't really a side character. But she was side she was like a side main character that i'll say that she wasn't really like a full main character but it's kind of complicated so i i absolutely love this movie this movie is great this is a seven or eight out of ten that that just shows how much i love the mcu because ant man the wasp is probably probably in the mid-tier for mcu but i absolutely love the mcu so it's my favorite it's my favorite of, of all franchises period so what to be said about this movie i feel like it has a very wasted villain ghost was not the best i did think that the motives were actually very good it's just the way it was executed was not that good of course the mcu is no stranger to having really bad villains they've gotten whiplash and iron man 2 and my personal least favorite was malekith from thor the dark world who was only memorable because of the fact that he, because of the fact that he was such a bad villain. But Ant-Man the Wasp is a really, really entertaining movie. I find it to be very fun. And that's one of the things that it doesn't try to be overly serious like some of the other movies do. It, it, it has action, but it's mostly just like this comedy. So you really, you really like to laugh during this one. And it has some really entertaining scenes. So... Of course, it comes in a second place because there are. I know a few people that put this movie over the original, but of course, nothing is going to top Ant Man. Ant Man is by far the best in the in the Ant Man trilogy. It will never be beaten. I know that because I know the MCU now, and they are they have fallen apart after Endgame. Far from Home and No Way Home were like the only movies after Endgame that I've now really enjoyed. Every single other one just. It, I was so disappointed. It's absolutely awful seeing what it's become. But Ant-Man, this is an amazing movie. This is one of my favorite movies of 2015. I'd still say I like Avengers Age of Ultron more, which is a very hot take. One of my biggest hot takes of all time. So, I really enjoy some of the things like seeing Louise. Louise is one of my favorite side characters of all time. Just seeing him do his stories, I find so funny. That's one of my favorite scenes in all the MCU. Just seeing him... Uh, do his, like, just seeing him tell his stories, it's so funny, and just the way that he does it so well, I just wish that he could have been in Ant-Man 3, 
Because then we probably would have gotten another amazing story that he has. So, he also deserves his own show. Hank Pym is also one of my favorite characters in the MCU. He, because he's really up there. I just really enjoy how they treated him in the first two. I wasn't a big fan of him in the third. But he was definitely one of the better characters in the third. But Wasp is more of a side main character, like I said. But she's still she's still pretty inter she's still pretty entertaining. I really enjoyed her. Of course, Paul Rudd's the standout here. I really enjoyed just the way that he brings his charisma to it. They have so much chemistry together, the actors. So it's just so amazing to see this movie. This is an eight out of ten probably, and that just shows you how much I love the MCU because this is a, not a top tier, but it's a great MCU movie, for sure. So without question, Ant Man is the best in the trilogy. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. It's completely up to you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.